At this time, remain standing. I'm asking Professor Michael Northrup to come forward for the opening prayer and to sing the, sing the national anthem. Let us pray. Creator Spirit, heart spark of learning and compassion that moves through us tonight. We've come together with hearts filled with expectation and hope because this day is the culmination of hard work, of laughter, and of tears. We've come to this evening to look for the highest light, both that light which comes from the human heart and that light which comes from the divine. Our hearts are overwhelmed with gratitude and joy. We recognize that this day has come for our graduates because of the help of family and friends, but for many here, we also recognize the help that comes from beyond our physical senses. Those individuals now look to that source of help. Recognizing the many ways that we understand the source of blessing, we seek blessing now on this very significant ceremony, blessings on these graduates, and blessings on all who are gathered. We ask that every good intention and positive prayer that is listed, lifted here this evening be heard and answered, and that we all are lifted together to the state of hope and grace that is so fitting for this auspicious night. Amen. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you, Professor Northrum. Please sit down. I'd like to thank members of the Vintage Brass Quartet for their additional music this evening. I'm sure you all appreciate that. We should give them a round of applause. <clears throat> Welcome, students, to a most unusual commencement. It's not just one commencement, it's two commencements the 52nd commencement and the 53rd commencement. I hope that you'll find this ceremony adds to your joy and the experience of this occasion. And I might say the uniqueness of this occasion might go on with you for the rest of your life. As we all know, for more than a year, our lives have been completely changed. For the 2020 graduates, you've had to wait for a whole year for your commencement. While this is still not what we prefer by not having our family and friends here in the gym with us, you are here and that means the most as each of you earned your certificate and or degree. And we honor your achievement tonight. 
Your supporters are hopefully all watching via the live stream. Thank you to Valerie Jurgens, our Executive Director of Communication and Marketing for her efforts in making this possible. Again, maybe a lasting memory of a unique commencement. Let's review just a few statistics concerning this evening's graduates. There are 286 pending graduates with degrees and or certificates combined from 2020 and 2021. Now, in all honesty, the 2020s, your degrees are yours and you've had them for a year. But we're commemorating that this evening. The average age is 24. The youngest is 18. The most senior is 55. The average GPA is 3.29. We have one dual enrolled high school graduate who is receiving his associate degree before he will graduate from high school. And one dual enrolled high school student receiving a certificate tonight. We also have 65 early middle college graduates. At this time, I'd like to introduce the special platform guest, and it's a very much streamlined dais this year. We have Mr. Bruce Gosling, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Hold your applause, please, to the end. We have Rod Lopez, Secretary of the Board of Trustees. We have Carol Higgins, Trustee. We have Dr. Michael Golden, Vice President for Academics. We have Tanya Howden, Vice President of Student Services, and she's over here. And we have, of course, Michael Northrup, Professor of Arts and Religion. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Graduates, while your family and friends are not in person with us, I would ask that you stand and you applaud them for all their support that's helped you get to tonight. Stand and give them a standing ovation. Thank you. Usually I get to make, I, you may see, be seated. Usually I get to say, would all the grandparents stand up? Would all the parents stand up? Would all the spouses and, see, and all that? But I don't get to do that this year. But they're out there. They're out there watching, thankfully. The college family is comprised of many dedicated mem members who have helped to make this day possible. Would the limited faculty and staff who are here to, present tonight please rise and be recognized? Michael. Michael. Let's give him a round of applause. As I understand it, there was quite a derby to decide who, which faculty were going to be here this evening. I would also like to thank Cindy Batten and Amy Young and Judy Fetch for all her help with organizing this. And first and foremost, I'd like to thank Diane Zinsmaster, who is my executive assistant who kind of runs the whole show and gets everybody in the right places and so forth. And uh, as you noticed, she was the person who was directing you to your seats as you came in this evening. And so it's, it's really, it takes a lot of folks to do it. And in the environment that we live in, we knew we couldn't have everybody that we would normally have here. So we had to really pick out those folks that would really get the work done. And we're really pleased with all that. At the end of tonight's ceremony, we have a special swag bag for you, each of the graduates. And we also have a special gift for you as you go out through the administrative wing out to the parking lot, we'll pass those out. At this time, we'd like to present the graduation video. This presentation has become an exciting segment of each year's graduation. We'd like to again thank Valerie Jurgens for her leadership in developing this graduation video for two commencements, the 52nd and the 53rd. It's entitled, Meeting the Challenges. It was March of 2020, and I remember having conversations in class the weeks leading up to us going fully online. And I teach anatomy and physiology, so a medical science class. Um, and we talked about the virus a little bit, and we didn't know enough yet. The latest on a coronavirus emergency, lots of major developments overnight. The Trump administration... There was already talk about masking, and everybody may be locking down for a short bit, and then 
all of a sudden I was getting a message, everything's going online. We made the change. There are now more than 80,000 cases worldwide, and the outbreak is also sparking fears on Wall Street, the Dow plunging more than 1,000 points on Monday. When word came out about the coronavirus, I was down in Florida playing spring training uh, for baseball, and we got a call a little after midway through our week saying that we weren't gonna have a season. And I called my dad and told him, and, and he, was, he was in shock too that they had canceled everything already. This is my 44th year in higher ed, and I've seen all kinds of things. Uh, enrollment increases, enrollment decreases, you know, funding challenges for states, the recession, nothing compares to this. I think there was a lot of anxiety and a lot of concern for our students and of course for family members and everything else as the virus starts to come through. But it was a pull together, we're gonna crush this attitude. The message we got as faculty was that we would be online for a few weeks. And so I remember updating my classes and sending all these students emails saying, it's gonna be fine, we're gonna get through this, I'll see you guys right after spring break. I learned better face-to-face -face and hands-on than, than trying to figure it out on a computer. It, it definitely was a transition. Glen Oaks has made it pretty easy to see what your classes are, when they're due. And really, I think everyone's concern was the safety and health of the students. I would say the faculty put in immense number of hours, at least those first couple of weeks, because we were really reinventing our classes. We wanted to give quality education and keep the students safe, but this was all new territory. So when we went fully online, not all students were prepared for that. They didn't have the technology and they didn't have the funds. A lot of my students, probably 40% of my students, and they had been to that point getting online through their high schools. Another student, she started her speech by saying, I am in the Sturgis McDonald's parking lot and I am doing my speech because this is the strongest Wi-Fi signal I can find. Whatever we have to deal with going forward, we'll get through it together. And in this year, it's like anything any other crisis you ever you know, go through, there's much good comes from it. You know, we're a much more flexible organization than we were a year ago. Resiliency. We're ready to handle what's coming. But out of this, the school has learned how versatile we really are and how quickly we can change. We are more nimble, we're more willing to accept what we're dealt, and we're able to, I think now, provide more options for students uh, than we ever were before, and, and it's going to continue to be that way. We'll be more likely to interact with our students through Zoom or through our Canvas learning management system or other ways that can actually supplement and enhance and improve what we do in the classroom. It was time to become inventive and safe. Loaning out hotspots and laptops, putting Wi-Fi in our parking lot. Virtual opportunities like proctoring exams. The vision, the mission, nothing changes in that regard. We're all about the business value value of people's lives. With everything that our students were faced with, I'm so proud of how they handled this pandemic. But I would say that, that all the students for this last year, whether they were completers in 2020 or they're completing this year or their first year students this year, they have had to adapt uh, beyond anything they would have ever anticipated. Thankfully, they're young. They're not as set in their ways as, you know, folks like myself, and they've adapted. Are they totally enamored with the change? No. Will they be happy to return uh, to some of the old school? Yes. Hopefully that captured the last year. Appreciate Professor Ren Hartung, Michelle McNamara, Michael Northrup, and the students who helped make the video possible. At this time, I'd like to present the college's 2021 awards. 
Val Jurgens will be down front and she'll present the plaques to the individuals that are down front this evening so we don't have to, all the commotion and the contact and so forth as we go forward. We do have pl main plaques in the administrative wing that list the award winners for each of these categories for all the years. The first award I'd like to talk about is the Outstanding Service Award. It goes to a staff member who goes above and beyond in serving students and the college community. This year's award recipient is one of those rare individuals who not only does outstanding work, but always goes above and beyond expectations to serve her colleagues. In her role as ECM administrator, she manages software programs that help keep the college running, and in several cases, she has been the person who brought the application online and led its successful utilization and instruction. One nominator states, Julie's work ethic is superior to none, and she never hesitates to contribute to projects outside her area, leading to solutions to issues, and productivity is increased. I'd like to recognize Julie Cotton, please. Of course, the heart of our institution is instruction. And we have two categories for instruction. The first one is being part-time faculty. The GOC Part-Time Faculty Excellence Award is presented annually to a part-time faculty member who demonstrates excellence in teaching and who reflects the value of education to students of the Glenos Community College. Several characteristics of an instructor that would merit recognition for teaching excellence would be they demonstrate a high professional standard, show expertise in college and course content, displays creative thinking and innovative techniques in the learning environment, makes the difficult learnable, and expresses enthusiasm for learning. This year's recipient teaches in the Agricultural Equipment Technology Program and is in the specialized courses of electrical and engine diagnosis. He came to Glen Oaks after a 30-year career at Owens Community College in Toledo. Prior to his teaching career, he was a practicing master mechanic in several different settings. His students marvel at his wealth of knowledge, experience, and motivational stories. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to attend this evening's ceremony. Our nominee this year is Nick Schultz. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> On a personal note, I've known Nick since 1997, and he's the stories part, the motivational stories part, it's, it's for sure there. In 1984, due to his belief and support of education, E.J. Shaheen, former Board of Trustees member, established an endowment in the foundation to recognize outstanding faculty. Each year, the GOCC Foundation presents a full-time faculty member with the E.J. Shaheen Award for Teaching Excellence. This significant award is based on the following criteria, demonstrates high professional standards, shows expertise in both course content and teaching techniques, helps make the difficult learnable, addresses different learning styles, expresses enthusiasm for learning, motivates students via environmental changes, and guess what? In the last year, that's doubled down, right? Cares about all students, appreciates diversity, and makes connections. The award recipient for 2020 was Professor William Letterman, who is here tonight with us, and I'd like him stand to be recognized from last year. This year's recipient has been a faculty member since 1996, and over these 25 years has created a contemporary technical program which turns out excellent students ready to enter the dynamic information technology world. He has completely revised the curriculum several times, as well as created new specialized certificates in cybersecurity, computer support technician, and network administrative technician. He monitors his students inside and outside of the classroom, and also serves as advisor for the gaming club. He is a model faculty member in every sense of the word. Please join me in congratulating Professor Kevin Connor for the 2021 E.J. Shaheen Award of Teaching Excellence. At GOCC, we are proud of every student. 
The distinguished alumnus is presented annually to a graduate who has gone on to make a difference in his or her communities via, de via demonstrated achievement in their chosen profession or other professional and personal service. This year's distinguished alumnus is a true success story. He came to America as a 17-year-old immigrant from Mexico to build a better life. He spoke limited English, and he had to work very hard to complete high school in Sturgis. He worked as he attended Glen Oaks to receive his Associate of Business degree in 2003. He cites Dr. Lester Keith as a mentor that made a difference. Not satisfied to stop there, he attended Davenport University, completing a Bachelor of Business in 2006 and an MBA in 2013. He has forged a very successful career in the insurance industry as a partner with the preferred insurance agency in Sturgis. In 2016, he de decided that he wanted to give back to his community and to GOCC and ran for the Board of Trustees. He has served on the board as secretary since 2018 and has been a staller board member who always brings the perspective of an alum to the table. It is my great pleasure to present this year's Outstanding Alumnus Award to Rod Lopez. The Fellows Award is given to an individual or institution who has proven outstanding support to the college as experienced by one or more of the following. Long-term dedication and commitment to the college. Extensive community level support of the college. Direct and continuing support of the college in various walks that could be including members of the board of trustees, members of the foundation board, or other particular services to the college. This year's Fellows Award is being presented to an individual who is known by everyone in our region. He grew up in St. Joseph County and completed dual enrollment with GOCC before attending Western Michigan University, where he completed a degree in political science and math education. He served as a math teacher for several years in Sturgis in northern Indiana before deciding to enter politics. In 2015, he was elected to the Michigan House of Representatives and was re-elected twice more, completing his six-year term in 2020. During his six years in Lansing, he served Glen Oaks in any way he could. Just two of the most significant acts were his securing a $1.5 million grant in 2018 for capital campus improvements, and most recently, he championed the $7.3 million capital outlay project to approval. He never failed to respond to any request on behalf of Glen Oaks and truly has earned the right to be counted amongst the most distinguished role of fellows to Glen Oaks Community College, Aaron Miller. Thanks, Aaron. And I say the best to last. We each year at commencement have a president award winner, who is a student. Last year, of course, we didn't have a commencement, but there was a student selected. That student was Edna Yoder, who was a nursing student and a great leader in the nursing program. Unfortunately, she could not be here this evening, but I think we should give her a round of applause as last year's recipient. I should say that, that this decision is made by the faculty. I should have said that first. Um, students are nominated, coming from the faculty, and then they're voted on by the faculty. This year's recipient is just a wonderful young lady who I've gotten to know here just in the recent week or two. Had not had contact with her before. Uh, she, as I find out, worked with the biology department as a lab assistant, uh, did all kinds of things across campus, was a residence hall uh, person, and was really, really the kind of person that, as I understand, has grown dramatically during her two years here at Glen Oaks Community College. So it's my pleasure to ask Alicia Hudson Grayer to come forward to make a few remarks for the class of 2021.
Hi, everybody. I am the class of 2021, but it's my great honor to speak of the class of 2021 and 2020. We've all had different journeys, but we're seen here tonight, ready for the next chapter. These journeys have not been easy for us. We've all had our ups and downs, especially what is going on right now in this world, but we made it. Ty Perry puts everybody in his life in a category like a tree. Some people are like leaves. They blow in each and every kind of direction and come and go. Leaves change and die after a season, doing nothing much but just taking from the tree. Some people are just that. They hang around to just give a little shade, but for the most part, they take from the tree Try to not get mad at those people. They're just a leaf, and that's what they're always going to be. Some people are like branches. Those are the ones you have to be careful for, because they will fool you to think they're actually your friends. But when you need them the most, they will not be there for you. They will leave you high and dry. But if you find one or two people they're like the bottom of the root. Those are the ones you want to treasure and hold on for. Because they do not care where you came from or how you look. The only thing they care about is how much you grow and you show. Without those people, the tree could not live or stand. Tree has many different kinds of roots, but few branches. I can truthfully say, if you hold on to them, make sure you never let them go. On my journey here, I can truthfully say I have found those roots. And I'm hoping that you have too. And I cannot wait to take them onto the next chapter with me. Thank you for everybody who's been in the journey with me. I cannot have done it without you guys. Let's go for the class of 2021 and 2020. We did this. Thank you, Alicia. As you know, it's being live streamed. We're getting to the most important part, the main reason for being here this evening, here momentarily, the presentation of the graduates. Uh, I'm going to turn this over to Dr. Michael Golden, Vice President of Academics, to introduce the various degrees and certificates. I am sure that you saw that some of the graduates are adorned with colorful cords and sashes. These are the outward symbols of academic success. Will the graduates with a 3.0 GPA and above please rise to be recognized? Will our Phi Theta Kappa Honor members please rise to be recognized? Will the TRIO members please rise to be recognized? Will our Epsilon Pi Tau members please rise to be recognized? Would our veteran graduates please rise and be recognized? Would the Black Student Union members please rise and be recognized? Would the Hispanic Student Alliance members please rise and be recognized?
Will our early middle college graduates please rise and be recognized? Would all the graduating students please rise? President DeVere, I present to you the candidates of the class of 2020 and 2021 who have or will fulfill the requirements for the following degrees and certificates. Accounting certificate, Agricultural Technology Equipment Certificate, Associate of Applied Science in Agricultural Equipment Technology, Associate of Applied Science in Allied Health, Associate of Applied Science in Business, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Information Systems, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking, Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Associate of Applied Science in Technology, Associate of Arts, Associate of Arts in Computer Science, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts, Emphasis in Fine Arts, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts, Emphasis in Graphic Design, Associate of Business, Associate of General Studies, Associate of Science, Automotive Service Certificate, Automotive Technician Certificate, Coding Specialist Certificate, Computer Aided Drafting and Design Certificate, Cybersecurity Certificate, Electrical Technology Certificate, Medical Administrative Specialist Certificate, Medical Assistant Certificate, Network Administration Technician Certificate, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate, Practical Nursing Certificate, and Welding Certificate. Thank you, Dr. Golden. Under the authority vested in me by the Glen Oaks Community College Board of Trustees in the state of Michigan, I confer upon each of you the appropriate degree or certificate with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities they're pertaining to. You may move your graduate, oh, you can't do that yet? You can't do that yet, sorry. You may be seated. All but the first row. I might suggest that we ha like have some yelling and that kind of stuff like we normally have when our families are here because otherwise it's going to be kind of deadpan. Sabrina Baker, Associate of General Studies. Ricky Jomel Boyd, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Bailey Jean Brazo, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Gladys Gamero. Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Tyler Scott Goins, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Haley Hayes, Associate of General Studies. Braxton Hernandez, Associate of General Studies.
Samantha Jean Hershey, Associate of General Studies. Madeline Lagasa, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Cecilia Rambat Sprouls, Associate of General Studies. Kayla Lee Rutan, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Taylor Shabus, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Bridget Stellner, Associate of General Studies. Toby Studebaker, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Christina Borchard, Associate of Arts and Visual Arts, emphasis in commercial photography. Megan Lachmundy, Associate of Arts with emphasis in graphic design. <laughs> Victoria Tyson, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts, emphasis in graphic design. Jessica Pena Cruz, Associate of Business. <laughs> Dustin Michael Fox, Associate of Business. <laughs> Renee Gillian, Associate of Business, Associate of General Studies, Certificate of General Studies, Management Marketing Certificate. <laughs> Lauren Rice, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Information Systems, Network Administration Technician Certificate, Associate of Applied Science in Technology, Computer Aided Drafting and Design Certificate. Jarrett Delary, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking. Marcelino Garcia, Associate of Applied Science in Technology, Automotive Technician Certificate. Judah K, Associate of Applied Science in Technology, Electrical Technologies Certificate. <laughs> Ephraim Castro, Automotive Service Certificate. Carlos Lopez Nieves, Automotive Technician Certificate. <laughs> Matthew Velez, Automotive Technician Certificate. <laughs> Donald Ernest Borchard II, Welding Certificate. <laughs> Jessica Lauren Carlton, 
Associate of Applied Science and Allied Health, Medical Administrative Specialist Certificate. <laughs> Madison Schlebaugh, Associate of Applied Science and Allied Health, Medical Assistant Certificate. <laughs> Amber Harris, Coding Specialist Certificate. Amanda Carey, Medical Assistant Certificate, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate. <laughs> Sarai Nieves Rubio, Medical Assistant Certificate. <laughs> Nicole Angel, Associate of Arts. Jade Nicole Brazeman, Associate of Arts. Tori Brown, Associate of Arts. Molly Beth Culver, Associate of Arts. Cody Fields, Associate of Arts. Paige Fraze, Associate of Arts. Joshua Grace, Associate of Arts. Computer Aided Drafting and Design Certificate. <laughs> Alicia K. Hudson Grayer, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Daniel Hughley, Associate of Arts. Victor McBride, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Courtney Raingard, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Sophia Schultz, Associate of Arts. Kenley West Wing, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Samantha Lee Bartelt, Associate of General Studies. Kimberly Carper, Associate of General Studies. Alan Castro, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Maya Cooper, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Austin Dean Curtis, Associate of General Studies. Kylie Eckert, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Kennedy Faith Espinosa, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Kelly, 
Broderick French, Associate of General Studies. Jasmine Garcia Vieta, Associate of General Studies. Hannah Glasgow, Associate of General Studies. Faith Goins, Associate of General Studies. Morgan Graybill, Associate of General Studies. Haley Hall, Associate of General Studies. Logan Hoffmeister, Associate of General Studies. Leanne Elizabeth Hurst, Associate of General Studies. Davion Marquise Lane, Associate of General Studies. Alexis Marcotte, Associate of General Studies. Brandon Martinez, Associate of General Studies. Amber Olesquitz, Associate of General Studies. Laura Perkins, Associate of General Studies. Leangelo Saravia, Associate of General Studies. Ashley Smith, Associate of General Studies. Gracie Smith, Associate of General Studies. Robert Tribble, Associate of General Studies. Jacob Weaver, Associate of General Studies. Latisse Musel, Associate of Science. Joshua Swift, Associate of Applied Science and Agricultural Equipment Technology. Ethan Guches, Associate of Applied Science and Agricultural Equipment Technology. <laughs> Joseph Valpatic, Agricultural Equipment Technology Certificate. <laughs> Trina Herman, Associate of Arts and Visual Arts Emphasis in Fine Arts. Zane Andrews, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts, Emphasis in Graphic Design. Grace Gardner, 
Associate of Arts in Visual Arts, emphasis in graphic design. Ariana Mendoza Albor, Associate of Business. Ashley Nicole Miller, Associate of Business. Jesse Ann Radulowski, Medical Assistant Certificate, Associate of Applied Science in Business. Aaron Blair, Management Supervision Certificate. Yvonne Estrada, Cybersecurity Certificate. Raymond Swinsick, Associate of Applied Science and Technology, Computer Aided Drafting and Design Certificate. <laughs> Carla Garcia Espinal, Associate of Applied Science and Allied Health, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate. Delena Denise Harton, Associate of Applied Science in Allied Health, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate. <laughs> Kiana Thompson, Associate of Applied Science in Allied Health, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate. Chantel Blaine Barron, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Carrie Lynn Doutlick, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Amanda B. Eisman, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. <laughs> April S. Friesen, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. Brittany Renee Fry, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Daniel Grace, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Kelly Hall, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Michael Joseph Hartman, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Tessa K. Hawkins, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. Sarah Anita Lewis, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. Aiden Michael McDonald, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. Kristen Mukes, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing,
Practical Nursing Certificate. Samantha Nickerson, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Megan Persing, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate. <laughs> Abby Saxman, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Practical Nursing Certificate, and Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Jessica Clark, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Jessica Luna Vargas, Associate of Applied Science in Business, Management, Supervision Certificate. <laughs> Chelsea Taylor Lucas, Medical Assistant Certificate. <laughs> Trisha Kramer, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate. Alexis McDonald, Associate of Applied Science and Criminal Justice. <laughs> Tyquez Dupree Priester, Associate of General Studies. Waiting for everybody to get back to their seats. I'd like to really thank once again Vice President of Student Services, Tanya Halden, for announcing all the graduates. Yay! Please rise, graduates. So the symbol. Uh, at this point of every commencement that I've ever attended, and I figured out recently it's 70 or more, um, is that at this point, somebody, such as myself, ask you to move your tassel from the right side to the left side, signifying you're a graduate. Remain standing. I'm going to ask Professor Northrup to come up and do the benediction and also lead us in the singing of the Alma Mater.
Spirit that teaches all things, we acknowledge tonight that we have come to an hour of new things. New dreams occupy our thoughts and new goals take their place in the priorities of our hearts. May we now experience a new blessing. May light guide our next steps and peace keep our minds at ease. May we find together the place of prosperity where we have what we need physically, emotionally, and spiritually. May we know with certainty that each of us is loved and that we are irreplaceable on this planet. May the spirit of light and compassion guide us as we live our purposes in this life. So we go forth to accomplish our unique mission, the life that is special to each one of us, with infinite blessings and eternal hope. Amen. The college, the college has uh, some swag bags for each graduating student this evening. Uh, please pick up yours from the main entrance hallway near the administration offices. The platform guests will exit first, followed by faculty and staff, and then the students will be dismissed by Dr. Golden.